back in California. And um, it's Tuesday, February 2nd. I'm weighing in at 182.2 pounds, which means that I actually lost weight while I was in Virginia, which is mind-boggling to me because I felt like I was eating all the time, and it wasn't like... It was like cookies, ice cream sandwiches, uh, cheesy pasta, and uh, cinnamon rolls. Not, you know, not light foods. I was cramming in. I was carb loading. I drank so much soda. It was ridiculous. And I apparently lost weight. I did absolutely zero exercising. It was ridiculous. My theory is, since Virginia is like 30, 40 degrees cooler, that all the extra shivering that I was doing was helping me burn all those chocolatey calories away. So, lock yourself in a freezer. That's my, um, part of my diet plan. Okay. So I'm gonna continue today with the memories bit. And the first day I talked about it, I had covered the first five years um, but uh, at this point I'm gonna switch over to the Michael Aranda method of doing one memory per day or one year per day because the ones that I was coming up with for these years they required more than the kind of blurb style of the first video so <clears throat> here we go 2005 so in 2005 this was my first year in college and I was visiting a someone's apartment and I didn't know anyone in this apartment but I was there with a you know a mutual friend so we we go to over and everyone's sitting in the living room talking for whatever reason I get up I go into the kitchen and I'm in the kitchen and I see this pot of lovely looking uh what you might call it mashed potatoes on the stove you know and I'm like, those are looking bomb diggity. I want a plate of them mashed potatoes. So I go back into the living room. And I, it's, it's quite loud in there. It seems like several conversations are going on. So I raise my voice. I say, hey, can I have some potatoes? And then some girl on the couch is like, yeah, go for it. I went into the kitchen and I grabbed a bowl and I scooped the potatoes right into the bowl, started shoveling them away. And so, and then I return to the living room with a mouthful of potato. And then the girl on the couch sees me and she jumps up. And she's like, what are you doing? I just made those potatoes. Those are my potatoes. And I'm like, I just asked you if I could have some. She's like, no, you didn't. And I was like, what? So, I don't know. I didn't, anyways, I don't know what happened. Either, either she didn't hear me and she was having a conversation in which, yeah, go for it was appropriate and it happened I don't know the timing I don't know what happened maybe I just hallucinated anyways the point is that she did not give me her permission to eat her potatoes and so it was rather awkward when she caught me with her potatoes in my mouth I don't know no one in that apartment ever talked to me again so that's great yay freshman year in college